We're at Quail Hollow Golf Club in Charlotte, North Carolina today for the Wells Fargo Championship, one of the PGA Tour events. And this is round three. Um, I'll have the first golfer come up here to hole 14 in a few minutes. And the purpose is to get stock imagery of every golfer. So we're going to do some up close and personals for when their stories ran on these uh, individual golfers. Shooting Tiger Woods or Phil Mickelson, uh, I'm not going to get the shots for stock necessarily because, let's face it, there's a lot of them. But some of these early guys that are coming through that don't have as much uh, imagery out there, that's where I'm hoping to make the sales from. So you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to catch them on hole 14 and then on the tee box on 15 right here. We'll see you in just a second. One other thing to caution you on uh, for college and pro sports it's a requirement to have credentials. I am credentialed for this event through one of the agencies I shoot. So you can't just take these and upload them to a micro stock and hope they sell because they're going to get kicked back immediately unless you have proof of credentials. Uh, but that's one of the things I do. Uh, some of the, I've had images that have sold two years old from players that just don't have the recognition of others in various events because a story finally broke out. Another um, sports photographer taught me to do that a long time ago. So just remember you have to have credentials for something like this. You can't just buy a ticket to a PGA event, take shots of the players, and then send it in for micro stock. It's not going to work that way. Okay, so we've got the shots that we wanted during the tournament, and we're going to focus just on the tee box for these stock shots. Uh, yes, I'll take these for some action shots too, but really the stock shots is all I'm looking for here. And the key here is, in golf, you cannot shoot during that backswing. It's the easiest way to get kicked off the course. You, you've got to wait. Once that ball's been hit, fair game, press the shutter. But what I'm looking for here is some up close and personal shots where you can see the, the face and the expression in the golfers. Um, you know who the golfer is, let's put it that way. You want to be able to see the golfer. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is fire off two or three shots right after that hit, once the, the club has come around. And I'm looking for a shot that's a full body shot on the tee box. With I want to be able to see the entire club. Uh, and and how the golfer looks through his follow through, uh, and then the other shot I want is basically from here up, and prefer to have it where you see the club. But there are going to be some times where I'll I'll make it a little bit tighter crop, uh, just so that I you know I have this this profile in the look in the photo. Um, I'll mix them up between having some portrait and landscape shots, but let's pull up uh, let's pull up a couple of different golfers that I shot that were in the the same group of two, and I'll show you how I, I added them and then as far as what I'm looking for for these stock shots. All right, so the first thing we need to do is pull the photos into Lightroom, and honestly, most of the time I'll just use Photo Mechanic for this, but for this video, we're gonna go with uh, go with Lightroom. 
already got them pulled in, so let's go back to here. Okay, so we pulled uh, the first shot. You can see this is a full body shot. And basically, I'm going to alter the crop just a tad, something like that. And that's going to be my shot there, okay? I've got ground below. The horizontal is horizontal. We've got the full body. I can actually bring it up just a little. And I don't really have to do a whole lot to this. Uh, I mean, I can go in and, and play with the highlights a tad and the shadows. Uh, drop the contrast some. Increase the blacks. Like that. Really don't want to mess with the clarity a whole lot. I mean, it's a bright day, but we'll throw a little bit of noise reduction on there, too. And, I mean, really, that's that's my shot. Okay, so then we'll bounce over to the next one. And you can see, this is when I zoomed in on the um, on Roy McElroy here. And I've got the club in it. So this one, let's change this to a portrait style. Do it like that. Let's bring it over. Crop it down just a tad. That would be the shot I'm looking for. Uh, decrease. We'll put a little bit of blacks in there to bring some color back. And maybe something like that. We'll add a little bit of clarity. And all right, so there is your your closer profile shot. Next one that was in his group. Again, we're gonna crop down, and I got an option here, um, and I'll show you with here in just a second what I'm talking about. I can do this. I've got mostly a clean background. You can see a little bit of fans uh, that are on the bottom right hand corner of the image, right here. But um, you know, I again, there's your your stand up shot. Go to the next frame. I can take this. And I can drop that into my image. Um, let's go back. Okay, like right here. We've got Phil Mickelson. And again, you see the type of images I'm getting. Like right here, my crop would come down to something like that. And that would be the crop. Alright, here's a good one. He, he's followed through he's, and he's dropped the club in his hands as he's watching the, the tee shot go. So I'd bring it down about like this. We'll play with the rule of thirds a little bit. You can see my main subject is here where the lines cross is in the player's face. My secondary subject is Mickelson and the bokeh back here. And again, there's my rule of third. There's my other line there. Mickelson's face is there at that cross. Nice little image. Really don't have to do a whole lot of editing to it because I, I had my exposures where I needed them to be, you know, right there in the, when I took the shots, I, I mean, I had the camera set up the way I needed to have it set up while I was out there. Uh, so we'll play with this just a tad. And anyway, so there's your shot. Simple enough. Alright, so once we, um, I've already sent these through photo mechanic and and did the captions on them um, but basically I've got to have for my captions I've got to have the uh, location and the date and then I put down you know such and such watches the tee shot on hole number 14 during the third round of the Wells Fargo Championship in Charlotte North Carolina and then credit goes to the photographer, which is me. So, uh, 
as simple as that. That's what I'm looking for. These are the shots that can sell over a long period of time, and because they're they're very basic shots, they're not no they're not full action as far as uh, where it identifies the place. I've got a clean background on them, and you get to see the player in the image, and that's the goal of it. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you watch some more. I'm gonna have some more golf stuff coming up uh, in the next few weeks as well. And if you like what you see, hit subscribe, share, hit the like button, leave me some comments. Uh, leave me some comments on what you'd like to see in the future. But until next time, we'll see you later.